my name is Dr. Slice Gallagher. I'm a plastic and reconstructive surgeon with a special interest in gender affirmation surgery. So today we're going to talk about a problem that's not too uncommon after bottom surgery for the girls or vaginoplasty or even zero depth uh, procedure. And the typical complaint I'll get from a patient is uh, that everything's going fine, but um, when she gets some uh, arousal, there's some swelling in a specific uh, area down there. And um, usually what the culprit is, is a particular type of tissue called the corpus spongiosum. So the corpus spongiosum is one of the types of erectile tissue that is there uh, in the penis. We usually are able to get rid of um, pretty much all of the corpus cavernosum, which is the other type of erectile tissue. But the thing about the corpus spongiosum is it is um, closely related to the urethra, which is a tube from which uh, you pee. And it tends to be highly variable how much of this corpus uh, spongiosum is present. In the vast majority of patients, it's not an issue. But when you look at the studies, about 6% the patients may have an issue with it. So what are the problems the corpus spongiosum causes? Well, typically it's only a problem that happens when the patient is aroused. And um, in the few patients I've had who have experienced an issue with it, what they'll typically describe is that there's some swelling usually focused on one side or the other, or just um, a small uh, area, uh, usually around the labia minora or the urethra itself. And uh, sometimes also it can be more problematic if that swelling is around the entrance or the opening of the vagina. So just north of the vagina, um, if a lot of swelling happens there when the patient gets aroused, obviously that can cause some difficulty with penetration. So what to do about it? Usually it's not a big deal and it can be dealt with at the same time uh, as a patient's labiaplasty if she's going to undergo uh, a revision or otherwise it's a pretty quick uh, surgery typically. In all of my patients, who've had an issue with it, um, we've been able to uh, deal with it at the surgery and just decrease uh, some of that um, corpus uh, spongiosum tissue and it tends not to be a problem anymore. So there you have it. If there's swelling with arousal, it's probably going to be that tissue, the corpus spongiosum.